switch the L520C0 off. The EEPROM is on the top of the L520 system board next to the keyboard connector. You have to disassemble the keyboard, the frame of the power switch and a metal shield cover. Keep individual modules and their screws separate to make it easier to reassemble it correctly. You need to access the 8-pin chip, a PS08A EEPROM which is located on the top side of the system board under the keyboard. The EEPROM is a PS08A which is equivalent to a 24RF08, so any reference in the following text to a 24RF08 applies to this EEPROM. Including making your own probes. Asking about the GND connection, in reality it is very simple. You use some kind of a clip so that you don't have to hold it in place. You don't have three hands and there are three connections, GND, SDA and SCL. So have a clip for GND, then you can use the two hands you do have to hold your SDA and SCL probes in place. Basically you make the system board functional outside of its case which includes mounting heat sink and fan on CPU. You push the sharp probes onto SCL SDA, this is the reason you need two persons, not enough hands to hold the probes and run the software. Oh have the keyboard and optionally the LCD plugged into the system board in such a way that none touch any contacts on the system board, use paper as an insulator to keep things from electrically shorting out, later you will need to plug in the AC adapter and switch on the TP, then you will need T. Oh hold two probes in place to the SCL and SDA points on the system board. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.